Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It's just a short video today where we are looking at how to update your packages in R. So I was reminded of this uh, and did an update myself pretty recently and I thought it's something that I would share with you. So in R Studio, if we come down to our right hand side and go to the tab for packages, we see that there's an update button and if we click it, we will see a list of any packages that are not fully up to date. So I recently did all of mine and so I actually rolled dplyr back to, uh, from 1.08, which is the new one that came out yesterday, uh, just so that I could demonstrate this for you. Uh, if you have a lot of packages and you haven't done an update in a long time or ever, then you'll notice this list will get much bigger. And all we need to do is either select all or tick the ones that we want and hit install updates. And particularly with this dplyr one, uh, it's particularly timely because it is uh, a very commonly used package. And one of the things that they have updated is some of the help text. So if you work with tidyverse and you work with uh, the functions that are in this package a lot, then it's going to be really helpful for you to update to the latest. In general though, this is just a good practice. So updating, making sure that we have the latest versions of all of our packages. And that way we, if there's any uh, fixes, any corrections, any, not just improvements, um, but also any, any bugs and any problems, uh, we're less likely to be running into them. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you haven't been updating packages, hopefully it is a good reminder. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel for more updates, particularly around research, statistics, and using R.